an encounter of a lifetime. Number three, praise the Lord. As earlier announced, commemorative materials for the 40th anniversary celebration are being made available to those who are interested. Interested members are required to register their interest <coughs> via the ordained workers forum, service units, or our WSF area offices between now and next Sunday, the 11th of April, 2021. Please know that your interest will only be validated after payment has been made. Cash payments will not be used for these purchases, so beware of scammers. The price for the Ankara is 4,000 Naira for six years. Number four, praise the Lord. The Global Call Center for this commission is now open for prayer, counseling needs, outreach inquiries, technical support, program schedules, appointments, general inquiries, etc. We are encouraged to contact the center on the number as displayed on the screen between 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily. To God be all the glory. Number five. Covenant Hour of Prayer continues tomorrow, Saturday. Time is 5.30 to 6.30 a.m. Number six, praise the Lord. Seven intended couples were this weekend. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are admonished to stand in the gap for them in prayers and share in their joy. Time is 11 a.m. Number seven, Winner Satellite Fellowship. Our House to House Fellowship holds this Saturday at our WSF centers across Lagos and Nauta. Time is 5 to 6 p.m. Remember, our cell growth and replication agenda is still on. Ensure you are part of this by bringing people into your cell. If you desire to host a WSF location in your house, please indicate through your cell minister. And as you host the hack of testimony in your home, expect continuous inflow of testimonies in your life from henceforth. Amen. Number eight, praise the Lord. Next Sunday at Faith Tabernacle, 11th April 2021, shall be our breaking generational causes service. Let's celebrate Jesus for that. It shall also double as our special monthly communion service. Therefore, come expecting diverse turnaround encounters by the prophetic word and the mystery of the communion table. Times remain 6 a.m., 7.55 a.m., 9.50 a.m. and 11.45 a.m. Jesus is Lord. It is testimony time. Please listen to these documented testimonies and be blessed. Number one, God is a rewarder. I engage in kingdom advancement prayers and reach out to the lost. I take advantage of every opportunity to serve. I trust myself into kingdom advancement endeavors. I lost my job in May, at which time I told God that I will dedicate more time to serving him so that no employer will refuse me. In addition, I told God to bless me with spiritual children for his kingdom. God opened my eyes to reach out to my friends and former co-workers. God gave me audience with everyone I reached out to. And I've been able to get souls added to the church, both physically and established online worshippers. In June, I got a job offer miraculously. There was no much urgency from them that they were literally begging me to spare time for either a Skype or phone interview. The interview was just a mere chat. Then the director asked me when I could start. The beauty of the offer is they are paying me well over what I was earning before. And the location of the job is close. I thank God for honoring me for, I thank God for honoring the word of his servant, Bishop David Oyeripo, in my life. I did that your A is a testifier. <laughs> Celebrate Jesus. Number two, supernatural turnaround via kingdom service. 
I want to bless the name of the Lord for giving me his mercy and grace to break ground in this season to the shame of the devil. God as he did made me a living testimony. I've been living with HIV virus for three years and was believing God for his divine healing and also a change of story in my education. When the wonder double prophetic season started, I committed myself to it tirelessly by making sure I was on the go for Jesus daily. I also engaged in praying kingdom advancement prayers and fasting for souls. I also dedicated myself to serving God wholeheartedly. Though at the beginning of this prophetic season, things were not on the bright side for me. But I never gave up on God. When the bishop declared a week of reward, I changed my asking from God to thanksgiving and praise. Even when walking on the street, I praised God. I was led by the Spirit to ask God to check my status again. And to the glory of God, I was confirmed HIV negative. God also changed my financial status and I received full scholarship to study abroad. I bless the name of God. He is a reward of those that diligently seek him. Udwe Mezwe M. Chinedu is a testifier. In your seated position, put your hands together for Jesus for these amazing testimonies. Presently, we are continuing in prayers. And this time we're saying, Father, by the blood of Jesus, we destroy the plague of sickness and untimely death in the midst of your people all through this year and beyond. Revelations 12, 11, they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Can we rise on our feet and pray this prayer with confidence? We're saying, Father, by the blood of Jesus, we destroy the plague of sickness and untimely death in the midst of your people all through this year and beyond in the mighty name of jesus father by the blood of jesus we destroy the plague of sickness and untimely death in the midst of your people all through this year and beyond in the mighty name of